you're welcome to johnson praise tv my name is johnson praise and this video is all about infs 111 which is about information in society past questions review or past code review so i'm going to release five videos on this specific course which will help you prepare for your eye eyes and then exams okay so the first three videos will help you prepare for your eyes whilst the remaining two will help you prepare for your exams so we are going to go through all these questions about 200 questions but each video will contain 40 questions so today we are going to solve 40 questions together i'm not going to do it alone but I'm going to solve it with you. Sometimes I'll ask you if you know the answer, you drop it under the comment section to, to make it more interactive. Do you understand it? So if you reply me to, if you send the, the, the answer to, I'm going to reply you. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It takes us it takes, it takes so many time to prepare these videos. Yesterday, all of the, the whole of yesterday, I, I i i i was working on this one only okay it took me about five to six hours to even put all these questions together after putting it together i have to record it so please the little that you can do to support by sharing or any way you can support you make sure you support so that we continue to what do more for you if you continue to support us this way we'll continue to do more but if we decide not to support we also decide not to go ahead we don't really take it's not about creating the video but it's about the impact a lot of people are getting are coming up with testimonies and that is our motivation okay why don't we continue to create videos for them since it is helping a lot of people to pass through their academic journey so please make sure you you do that for us and god will continue to bless you just cl click on the subscribe button subscribe to motivate us to do more and also share it share it with your friends don't just uh, watch it and, and and go and make your ease whilst your friends and colleagues are also struggling to find their way out so when you chance on this video please share it with your friends we won't really waste much time we'll be going straight to the point which is the 40 questions that we are coming to solve so we'll be diving more into that and 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 like i said it is something that we've been doing i have released videos on critical thinking and a video on public administration a video on ugbs 101 a video on apart from ugbs 101 to a video on a course like academic writing and so many videos i've released some of these videos which some are also yet to come so when you subscribe please make sure you tap on I'll drop some link under the comment section. Tap on the link. It will direct you to our WhatsApp channel, which you would you 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 def, you subscribe or follow us on WhatsApp. It is not a group, but it is a, a channel. So when you follow us, anything that we do there, mostly I post the video links there. So when I post it, you have access to it. God bless you for your support, and God bless you for sharing, and God bless you for liking let's move forward let's start with number one straight to the point number one it says that a person's daily information activities uh, involve transforming what so let me take it again a person's daily information activities may may involve transferring information from one format to another so we have through we have false which one is the answer a person's daily information activities may involve transferring information from one one format to another it is what through it is true so that is what the answer the answer is what through let's look at number two information produced in 2002 is was what what was the the total number of information produced in 2002 according to the information provided in your slides what is the answer so we have what it was what equivalent to um 34000 libraries equivalent to 35000 libraries equivalent to 
36,000 libraries and equivalent to what to 37,000 libraries or libraries so which one is the answer if you know drop it under the comment section the answer here is d so the information that was produced in 2002 was equivalent to 37,000 libraries i've already released a video on infs session one session two i think session three i've not done yet but all these things i was able to explain them if you need uh, more clarification or more explanations when you watch those videos you'll be able to understand them better okay let's move on to number three approximately dash megabyte dash megabyte of information for each person in the world so this information that was produced in 2002 if you have to divide it how many okay okay if you have to divide it per person how many would each person would produce so we have say 600 megabytes 700 megabytes that is c also um 800 megabytes and then nine uh, D is what 900 megabyte. So those information that was produced in the year 2002, if you have to divide it per head, each and every one will produce approximately 800 megabytes of information for for yes. So that is how it's going to be. So put it at the back of your mind. Information that was produced in 2002, if you have to what to divide it, it will be what. It will be 800 megabyte per person right let's move to number four information should information okay information produced in 2006 um was that so what was the information that was produced in the year 2006 so let's let's more let's dive more into it we have what a is what a is A is what 20 exabytes, B 20 gigabyte, C 20 terabyte, D 20 petabyte. So which one is the answer? All right, the answer is what 20 exabytes. So in the year 2006, the information that was produced in the world is what 20 exabyte, 20 exabytes. So pay take note everything we are doing here. I can see you could see the description d22 if it doesn't come in this format if it doesn't come in this format it will be twisted you get it and on these questions um it is something from your slice and the probability of it occurring is 90 percent do you understand it yes so let's look at number number c is gathering and managing information include the following set a sending b receiving c recording d tracking and then e all of the above so sending and uh, sending and managing information include all the following except the information those that i've mentioned the options which is sending receiving recording and tracking all of them are what are part of what sending and receiving information so the answer is what all of the above all of the above they are all part right so let's move forward um let's look at number seven in dash in dash um over 600 percent over 60 percent of usa household had computers more than half of all american homes had internet connections so which year did that one happen okay in which year that we had 60 percent of american household having computers so a 2004 b 2002 c 2006 and then d 2005 the answer is so 2004 in the year 2004 60 about 60 percent of usa household had computers let's move to number eight in 2005 80 percent of adult american had internet access at home 
or workplace through or false yes it is true so that year 80 percent of the american had access to the internet okay that is in the year 2005 they had access to the internet whilst Kenyans were doing encomode and then this cantata do you understand it so that is the difference between america and ghana let's look at about number nine the average american home had eight radios and 2.5 television sets which year did the american household had eight radios and 2.4 television sets a 2004 b 2005 c 2006 and then d 2007 the answer is what c which is what 2006 2006 so in the year 2006 the average american home had eight radios and 24 point uh, 2.4 television set okay number 10 in june 2006 broadband penetration in o oecd member countries increased to what or uh, what was the the percentage in the year 2006 Okay, what was the, 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 the percentage in broadband penetration according to the data that was provided by OECD? So we have A, 11%, B, 15.5%, C, 27.2%, and D, 3.8%. The answer is what? 15.5%, which is what? B, the answer is B. 15.5 percent let's look at number 11 which of the following which of the following services were were individuals likely to to have used in addition to their devices in 2006 so all of these ones which of them would they have used okay in addition to in addition to their their devices we have a telephone services b we have streaming and video subscription c gaming console and uh, gaming console membership and d landing internet connection so the answer is what mobile service mobile service that was when the um there was what the emergence of mobile phone came into the light okay so people household and the, the u.s household started using what mobile phone by then the internet wasn't really all that what much in the system but you, you, you with the mobile services they were all that what, they were were really what increasing and so they were using mobile uh, services or telephone services in 2008 what was the total media usage which is what tt ttu right so ttu stand for what total media usage per person in hours so in the year this question i'm not talking much about it but uh take note of it it's the probability is 95 percent so um how many so in 2008 what was the total media uh, usage per, per person per what per the year? That is the TTU, the TTU use. That is the TTU per person per year in hours. So uh, uh, we have what a six one hundred and sixty nine thousand one hundred and sixty nine. Sorry, one thousand six hundred and sixty nine hours. B thousand and thirty two hours c forty four uh, four thousand and fifty nine hours and d two thousand and eight hours so the answer is what c which is what four four uh, four thousand and fifty nine hours so the total media usage per what person per year in hours is what four thousand and fifty nine hours number thirteen which media had the highest usage per person uh, per person per year in 2008 so 
A television B radio C internet D newspapers magazines and then books so which of, which of them had the highest usage per person per year in 2008 the answer is television why is it television but well, those period a lot of people were using television services because that was what was in the system unlike an, uh, in our contemporary dispensation where a lot of people are using mobile phone uh, mobile, how do you call it the internet the social media more than the the television services and the radio services but that those period um the television was what was the highest which actually was over uh, which over definitely what uh was able to what, overtake the magazines and the newspaper services and then tv and then uh, was what was actually what in the uh, was was at the forefront of what the digital system right and and even that radio service also declined so which means that those period the tv was what was on top now it's the social media that is what leading okay let's look at number 14 what trend was observed in the usage of newspapers magazines and books in 2008 so when you when you make your observation you could realize that those period the usage of newspapers magazines and books actually what they decrease okay they decrease so we say what the answer is what decrease usage because people were using more television services more and then the the newspapers the magazines and then book services what decrease what they decrease the usage really what decrease so it is not increased usage no change in usage or usage within constant remain constant but it decreased unlike the way social media is also what making the, the television services also what or you the television usage also what decrease people are using social media and the television services are what have also decreased me I, I don't even remember the last time i on my tv I don't watch TV. I when but when I wake up, I go to social media throughout the day. Like when I wake up, uh, the first thing after praying, the first thing I do is to what, go through my my phone and check my messages. Sometimes I even check my messages before I pray. Let me be frank with myself. So it has become part and parcel of me. I don't know about you, but that is how the whole thing is. In two thousand and number fifteen, in two thousand and five. Which country had the highest number of subscribers per inhabitant? So we have A, USA, B, Hong Kong, C, Israel, D, Italy, and then E, Czech Republic. So which one is the answer? The answer is what? Hong Kong. Hong Kong had the highest number of subscribers per inhabitant in the year 2005. Okay, so pay attention to this. In number 16, which country had which country led in broadband penetration in 2005 okay so in 2005 so we have what the options are what a iceland b korea c netherlands and then d united states which one is the answer the answer here is what iceland so iceland had the highest broadband broadband penetration in the year 2005 okay so number 17 which of the following is not part of the current range of information services okay so let's look at the current range of information services which of them is not really part of the current information services we, we are talking about current information services a portable mp3 player b we have what Digital camera. We have C, C iPad, D, uh, D, which is what MP3 player, and then we have what E smartphones. So MP3 player is no more in the system. MP3 player is no more in the system. But digital cameras, cameras, iPads, smartphones are all in the system. Or they are part of what the digital or the current what range of what information devices. 
they are really ranked they are ranked higher as compared to an mp3 player i don't see uh, when i even i i used to have this uh, how do you call it this deck okay but i don't even know where i've even left it you know i don't even use it and a lot of people are having these things which is even thrown away people are using mp3s as so people are using these um uh, how do you call it um how do you call it um, um that's the cd system right the cd system the dvd system yeah that one is no more in the system that one is not in the system right but people are using what people are using the um the pen drive and other stuff let's look at number 20. hey sorry number 18. Okay, so 18. Information is a powerful and indispensable factor in the operation and dash of society. So, which one is the answer? This one, if it comes in a multiple choice, okay, uh, sorry, a feeling, you can get a question like this. So, they give you the dash, then you provide the right answer, and the answer is what? Functioning. You only provide the functioning. You don't go in and explain anything. If you explain, you get it wrong. So, information is powerful it's a powerful and indispensable factor in the operation and functioning of society so the answer is what is is what functioning number 20 okay i didn't i i forgot to add number 19 so let's move forward to 20 straight away to 20 i'll add one more question to it make it work so which means i will do it i'll move to 41 instead of 40 let's look at the number 20 which of the following is not the uses of information a uh, use as instrument of influence and control in the lives of individual b um, political structure of the country c c in in the relationship among among nations and then the increasing uncertainty so all the options here which of them is not the uses of what information if you know you can drop the answer under the comment section number 20 what is the answer we've done these things and i know if you have been following me you should be able to provide the answer what is the answer number 20 if it's if it is a tell me it is a if it is b c or d tell me it is d so the answer here is what is d which is what increasing uncertainty Increasing uncertainty isn't what an option. The various the the, the, the the slides provided three uses of information, which are what it, it is used as an instrument of influence and control in the lives of individuals or citizens. And then B the the what the political structure of the country and then C in the relationship among other nations. So all these things are what part they are what they are uses of information, but increasing uncertainty isn't an option. If you say increasing an uncertainty, means you are even um, uncertainty. The person isn't really certain with about certain things. The person need information to clarify it. So when you increase the person if a person uncertainty, you are you are you are even doing the person more harm, and it is not related to what information usage. Let's look at number 21. In politics, information is dash. So in politics, what do we use information for? A. Uh, to influence the behavior of citizens in their voting choices. B. To shape, um, to shape, to shape public opinion, opinion on national issues. C. To inform and support public policy decisions and then d relationship among nations and then um we have what e which is what the use of advert uh, the use of what advertising to influence behavior the use of advertising to influence behavior okay so the question is that the question was supposed to be like in politics information is used for the following except do you get it so all the options here are uses of what information in politics but 
the use of the use of information for advertising or to advertise to in order to influence behavior is not what it's not a, a political uses of what information it is what the marketing aspect okay that is it or the economic aspect of information so they use information to what advertise and influence behavior let's look at number 22 information plays a huge role in the in the sphere of entertainment okay so which of them is the option so in the sphere of in, uh, entertainment information plays what a crucial role in all the following except which one is the answer it plays role in the following in terms of entertainment which of them is not an option so we have what a sporting event b films c music and then d all of the above so they are what they are all of the above when you see entertainment it includes what sports it includes films it includes what music and other aspect just to entertain people or to make people what to hap- uh, make people happy so information plays crucial role in all these aspects in sports you need information about match fix fixtures, uh, score lines, individual records, and all these player uh, players value. And in the film too, so you need all these type of what information. There are titles and 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 inf- important information about the films. And also when you take the music aspect too, it is very very important. So there are all options with exception of what twenty two. Let's look at number 23. Number 23 says that that refers to a loss of time cushion, okay, between the occurrence of an event of an event or problem and information diffusion. So which one, which definition, which one, which of the definition, uh, which, which, which term are we defining here? So it refers to what? loss of time cushion or what cushion right between the between the occurrence of an event or problem and information diffusion so the answer we have for a escalation of information b rapidity of information c communication and d information transfer so which one is the option the answer is what rapidity of information so rapidity of information refers to what a loss of time caution okay cushion between occurrence of what an event or problem a problem and an information diffusion so that is what the answer number 24 porat define information as a data that has been organized and dash so what is the answer what did what what was Porat definition of information? Please, number twenty four. I need the answer. Drop it under the comment section. If you are really information study student, and if you really uh, followed me, my my previous video, my my I think my my second video, right? If you follow that video, watch that video, you should be able to tell me Porat definition of information. So he said, what well, information is a data that has been organized, and what is it process or what? So please. Drop it under the comment section. Number twenty-four. If it is, if it is uh, information drop, if it is communication drop, if it, anything that you think is the answer, just drop it and let me see. All right. Let's move to number. Okay. So I have the options here for you. We have what transferred, communicated, process, and retrieve. What is the answer? What is the answer? So the answer is what communicated it is communicated a data that is in what organized and communicated not retrieved not transferred not processed not uh okay but it is what it is communicated number 25 who define information as a record of resolve uncertainty we have what mushroom e, e mushroom b Porat, c um backland and then d del so the answer is what d which is del they'll define information as a record of what resolve uncertainty so when you say record of un- re- resolve uncertainty it means that um 
when there is what there is a there is what there is an uncertainty and you bring it you use information to clarify it it is what it is what what he is trying to explain to us okay a record of something okay a record of what or resolves uh, resolve what uncertainty okay so when you bring a record to clarify an uncertainty becomes what information that is what um Purat believes so let's look at number 26 Beckland 1991 identify three aspects of information as what process knowledge and dash so what did Beckland identify as as what as an as aspect of information so he identified three things, three aspects, which is what process, knowledge, and what. So A, information. B, data. C, wisdom. Then D, thing. The answer is what a thing. So he identified three things, which is what process, knowledge, and a thing. So that is the answer is what D. Number twenty-seven. Which of the following is not part of my shop? And Mansfield, uh, uh, what much lop and what Mansfield definition of information? A. Increasing the state of knowledge of the recipient. B. Increasing uncertainty. C. Value in decision making. D. Resolving uncertainty. Please drop the answer. No this one I've already taught you. Please drop the answer for me. This is something simple for me for 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 you to uh, to do. If number 27 is is what increasing uncertainty just what um drop it right just write it if it is what increasing the state of knowledge of the recipient or if you believe it is what value in decision making just write that one for me number 27 you see what d which is what resolving uncertainty so you mentioned three things which of them is not part which of them is not part the answer those of you who have done we just did okay let me give you the answer the answer is what um which is what increasing uncertainty increasing uncertainty is in part of what the definition but what resolving uncertainty because uncertainty is already what a, a, a problem so increasing a problem becomes what a burden okay but when you bring a solution which is what information information is a solution to it a problem so that is what he believes so he believed that um he believed he mentioned what three things okay or the definition touches on three things on three things which is what increasing the state of knowledge of a recipient and also what uh, value in decision making and resolving uncertainty number 28 according to Pesley, something that the receiver already knows is a information b a data C not information and the knowledge. So something that information personally made a decision and, and came up with a definition. So those of you who know number twenty eight, you can drop the answer. You know, number twenty eight is data. Number twenty eight is information. And then let me let me I'll go through our market for you. We are testing ourselves, right? So um, he what he said that something that the receiver already knows is not information. It's not information. So the answer is what C. The answer is C, not information. Number 30. Dash continuum in which information develops from symbols, data, information, knowledge, and finally acquisition of wisdom through knowledge is called A, knowledge, B, Wisdom C information D information pyramid. The answer is what information pyramid. So the abed definition what defines the information pyramid as what as a continuum in which information develops from symbol, data, information, knowledge, and finally acquisition of wisdom through knowledge. That is what the information pyramid. Number 30. Okay, okay, so I've had 31 here, which it will replace what the number 19. One will replace number 19. Okay, so a uh, manuscript is an example of a tangible information, b intangible information, c tertiary information, and d electronic information. So, manuscript is an example of what 
is a tangible information, which is what E manuscript is an example of what a tangible information. Number 31. Diaries are examples of A tangible information, B intangible information, C tertiary information, and D electronic information. So diaries, diaries are what? The examples of what? Tangible information. You can touch it. We say tangible information is any information that you can touch, you can feel it. Okay. So they are what? They are they are what? Things you can touch. Diary, you can touch a diary. Okay, manuscript too is what a physical information or it can what it can be touched. So all of them are what? Tangible information. Um, uh, 32. Intangible information is regarded as a thing. So is it true or false? Intangible information. A tangible information is regarded as what a thing. It is what true. It is what true. Why is it true? Because what it is something you can touch. So tangible information is what regarded as what a thing. So take note of all these things. Number thirty-three. Introduct a uh, dash information described as a process or as a knowledge. So. A, we have tangible inform a tangible information. B, intangible information. C, primary information, and C and D, secondary information. So, um, the answer is what intangible. Intangible information is described as a process or a t uh, or as a knowledge. Okay, so the intangible it is what a process or a knowledge. It is what a knowledge you gain from things, right? or what the processes right so with those things you can't touch it knowledge you did you get from something can you touch it that's what we call it what intangible information number 34 information that information is described as as knowledge when it is performing the role of imparting knowledge in an individual where it reduces what uncertainty so we have what tangible information be knowledge C wisdom and D intangible information. The answer is what intangible information. So the intangible information is described as what as knowledge when it is performing the role of imparting knowledge to the to an individual where it reduces what uncertainty. Number 35. What distinguishes intangible information from tangible information? A Tangible information is always stored in physical format. B. While, while intangible information is what? It's an abstract. Sorry. So let me take it again. Tangible information is stored in the physical format. While intangible information is abstract. B. Intangible information can, be, can only be transmitted electronically. While tangible information can be transmitted physically c tangible information is described as a process or or a, or knowledge while intangible information is regarded as what physical object that can be seen and what and touched okay and then d tangible information is only useful for reducing uncertainty while intangible information is useful for informing individuals so what is the answer number 35 what is the answer if you know drop it under the comment section and let me go through for you let me go through for you so this video that i'm doing i'm going to divide them into two right now so i'll be uploading the two videos together so the moment you are done watching this one check the part two the part two i'm uploading all of them this morning for you right let's move forward so let's look at the option so the the answer is what the answer here is c so um when it, the other options provided why are they not part so intangible information is not stored in physical format it is what abstract and does not have a tangible form and then also the the when you look at the option b the intangible information can be transmitted electronically through what other means just like what tangible information so the distinction between intangible and tangible information lies in their nature 
not how they are transmitted. Do you understand? And then uh, the D to st uh, is what both tangible and intangible information can be what be useful for what? informing individuals or reducing uncertainty depending on the context. So the distinction between them is not based on what their utility, but rather on the on the form and then the, the characteristics. Do you get it? They all perform a similar role, but the difference is on the form and characteristics. Let's look at number 35. Number 35, um, dash is a type of information that the general public can have access within the normal requirement of law and commerce. So which one is this type of information? It's information that's what it is um information that is what that the general public ha can have access within the normal requirement of law and commerce so this one i'm also not telling you but it is something that you have to take note of so a we have personal information b public domain information c common information d general information so the answer is what public domain information the public domain information is a type of information that the general public can have access to within the normal requirement of law and commerce so it is what public domain information that is pdi pdi is what public domain information let's look at number 36 which of the following is not a public domain information okay so a which of the following is not what an example of what public domain information? A. Information generated by what? Private organizations. B. Financial status of a person. C. Uh, information that treat that threat that information about threat to the environment. And then D. Information about corruption. So which of them is not what? A private information. So the answer here is what is the financial status of what a person is what a private and not public. This information, if I have 20 CDs in my account, do you expect me to put it in the public domain? No, unless those who are, who are interested in this billionaire and millionaire stuff. And you know, even the richest men in the world, uh, their, their value, their, their, their net worth are not known. Yes, there's not everybody that would like to disclose his or her world. There are people who are richer than a lot of mass in the world which have not disclosed their world yet. There are some people who are richer than a dangote in Africa, but if not disclose their world. Right. So these things are things unless you decide to reveal it. So they are they are things you should so but all these questions the way they are, okay, the the the, the, the question can come in, in similar form, but you need to what know the things that are under them so it will help you answer your questions i hope you get it if it doesn't come in this format they can even give you maybe individuals medical record here yeah. okay or the question can come in this form that which of the following is not a private a, a, a public a personal information then they'll bring most of this one they'll bring what a person's medical record a person's uh financial status a person's age and then they will bring something like uh, information generated by private private organizations or if uh information about corruption so you should know that that one is what is a uh, is is rather the what the uh, the public domain information doesn't belong to what personal information right so you choose that one so it can they can it can come in dim, different formats so you have to just, just what uh, be one guy. Let's look at number 37. Problems of access to the public domain information includes A. Financial problem. B. A lack of what? Library facilities. A, C. Lack of access to the internet. And D. Unreliable power supply. And then E is what all of their bed. So, so the answer is what? All of their bed. The problems problems of access to public domain information is what it includes all the following with the exception of what none of them all of them are what part okay there are challenges with with what 
with what the access to public domain information. Number 38, libraries and information centers are the main solution to the problems of a person's inability to access public domain information because A, it is what accessible B, um, they, they lack what lack of money to buy a book. C, uh, they charge exorbitant fees for accessing public domain information. And making it difficult, making it what inaccessible to most people, and then D, they restrict access to public domain information to only those who can afford it. So the answer is what uh, C A B, which is what lack of money, uh, lack of money to buy book. So the libraries and information centers are the main solution to the problem of a person's inability to access public domain information because they lack money to buy it, all right? Of course, of a lack of money to buy a book. And let's look at number 30, uh, 29. It says that there are dash types of libraries, E, three types, B, four, C, five, and then D, six. The answer is what? Five. There are five, according to your slides, we have what five types of what libraries let's look at number 40 public libraries are often described as poor man's university because a the poor used to educate themselves to improve their outlook in life b because it offers expensive course uh, what tailored what for individuals with limited financial resources and then C, because it is exclusively because it exclusively caters to the individual to the individuals from affluent background, and then D, because it offers scholarship and financial aid to students from low income facilities, uh, families. So the answer is what um, E because. So the, the public libraries are what are often described as poor man as a poor man in or poor man's university because people what use it to educate themselves and improve what their outlook in life. Because the those people don't have money to buy. So they used to improve themselves. Do you get it? So you should be able to know when they get you get some things like this. So this is what the end of this discussion or this past question review the next one will be coming and i'm as i said with your eyes the first three videos are going to help you with your eyes um probably would um prepare for your eyes and then that is in the first four videos if okay but the last one will be what will be for your exams so make sure you subscribe and then share it with your friends and also make sure you click on the link I provided there to to actually link up to or probably join my 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 channel on WhatsApp. I'll be dropping more videos there, so you join. And if you have a brother or sister or you want to travel outside, just get in touch with me. Um, we promote offers and we we have variety of offers. That is U.S., Canada, Mongolia, Serbia. Belarus, Singapore, and so many countries. Dubai is also part. If you want to go to Dubai within five days, we'll process everything for you. If you want to go to USA within uh, three to five months, everything will be what will be done. And all these things come with work, accommodation, and 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 even ticket with the offers. It includes all those stuff. So get in touch with me. Call me on zero five four five four one two zero one seven. So I'll continue with the part two shortly. I'll release it just together so they are all coming together. Just watch out.